I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll prove the identity ncr plus ncr minus 1 equals to n plus 1 cr. So we know what ncr is. ncr is n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. So using this formula we'll expand the left side. So let's begin with the left hand side ncr plus ncr minus 1 ncr could be written as n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial plus ncr minus 1 so we'll replace r with r minus 1 we get n factorial divided by r minus 1 factorial times n minus r and minus of minus 1 becomes plus 1, correct, factorial. So that is the left side for us. So this is equal to left side. Now we have to add them. To add, we should have common denominator. Now here we have r factorial. In this case, it is r minus 1 factorial. We need to multiply this by r, right? On the left side, we have n minus r factorial. Here we have n plus 1 minus r factorial. Do you see that? So that means we have to multiply this by n minus r plus 1. Okay, so let's do that. So what we are going to do now is we have n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. We'll multiply this by n minus r plus 1 in the numerator and n minus r plus 1 in the denominator, correct? For the other term, which is n factorial by r minus 1 factorial times n minus r plus 1 factorial, we are going to multiply this by r, correct? So, we will multiply this by r in the numerator and r in the denominator. Now, by doing so, we can actually write the terms in the numerator and the denominator with common denominator. Do you see that? So that is the whole idea. So the denominator could now be written as r factorial. This is also r factorial, right? So we have r factorial and n minus r plus 1 factorial, right? So which you could write this as n plus 1 minus r factorial, right? So that times this. Here also, we have the same denominator, which is r times r minus 1 factorial is same as r factorial. And this one could be rearranged and written as n plus 1 minus r factorial. And the numerators for us are n factorial times n plus 1 minus r and this is n factorial times r. Now, since the denominators are same, we can take them as common. So, what we have here is 1 over r factorial times n plus 1 minus r factorial and in the numerator, let's add them. I should actually take n factorial also common, right? So we have n factorial also common. We have the terms n plus 1 minus r, and here we have plus r. Now that is equal to what? Now clearly, minus r plus r is 0, so we are left with n plus 1 here, right? So n plus so this becomes n factorial times n plus 1. And the denominator for us is r factorial times n plus 1 minus r factorial. Now n factorial times n plus 1 is n plus 1. 1 factorial, correct? It is equal to, let me rewrite this as 
n plus 1 factorial divided by r factorial times n plus 1 minus r factorial. So, in the term of the binomial coefficient, we could write this as n plus 1 cr. Correct? So, that is how we can say that n cr plus n cr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr. So, left side is indeed equal to the right side and that is how you can prove this identity. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.